Hello, today we will see how to add a freeze frame in Wondershare Filmora 9. So I will be making use of demo version of Filmora 9 for the purpose. Now at times what happens is, suppose I have two layers over here. My one layer video is 7 minutes and I believe it is 34 seconds. So it is 7 minutes and 34 seconds. While my other video, other layer video is only 1 minute and 8 seconds. Now I wish to stretch this video to 7 minutes and 34 seconds. One method could be you could slow down the speed of this video. You could go here, slow down the speed. You could go here, you could slow down the speed. But we see that I was not able to slow down the speed of this section. Let me try this one. I am not able to slow down the speed of this section either. Okay, now let me undo this. Let me see if I can add a freeze frame to stretch the duration to this complete. Now when I go to this place, when I put my marker over here and try to add a freeze frame. Again I see that I am not able to add a freeze frame over here. I come here. Let me bring the marker over here. I again try to put a freeze frame. It is not possible to put a freeze frame. Now what do I do? So I came across this solution that when we are trying to put freeze frame markers or trying to slow the speeds of previous clips, previous clips in the sense that clips which are prior to some other clips, we are not able to do so. If we come here, we are able to slow the speed also. We are able to slow the speed. We see that speed has been slowed and this clip has been stretched. Other way to stretch this clip could be adding a freeze frame. So when I go here and I add a freeze frame, I am able to see, I am able to add a freeze frame. Now I will undo this. Now the problem with Filmora is that it, it adds freeze frame only when you have some space left between the clips. Because now if I add a freeze frame over here, it will overlap with their remaining ones. Because this frame, uh, this clip will stretch. Now if this clip stretches, it will overlap with the other clips. So what we can do in such a case is, we can take them away from each other. Now every clip has space after it. Now let me see. If I try to slow it down, we will try to slow it down from here this time. I can slow it down, but I cannot slow it down to 0.5. It has stopped to 0.76. So it can stretch itself only to that extent so that it fills the space. So one thing is clear that I need space after, I need time after the clip to be able to slow down the speed or to add a freeze frame. Now let us see over here. If I try to slow down the speed, I will slow it down to 0.4 let's say. But the speed doesn't go down to 0.04. The speed only goes down to 0.3. Reason being, this is the only space available. So, this is the idea. If your clips are connected like this, if you have just cropped them according to your needs, but they are all connected, then you cannot slow down the speed of the clips, neither can you add freeze frame. So, the quick workaround would be, let us separate them from each other. And now, let me see, I can definitely add a freeze frame. Here also, I bring my marker over here, I will put a freeze frame here. I bring my marker here, I will put a freeze frame and also I will put a freeze frame over here. So now all my clips have a freeze frame. Now wherever you wish, according to your editing, according to your narration, you can put this clip and stretch it wherever, depending on your narration, on your requirement, wherever you need. I'll go there, I'll push this. So now we see that, that one second clip is overlapping with my seven second video. So here we have, this is how we add 
freeze frame. This is the problem why we are not able to add freeze frame in certain clips while we are able to add freeze frame in other clips. The reason is that you need space between those clips. So I guess this helps. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.